Gen X Tech Guy here coming at you with a review of the Smooth Q three axis stabilizer slash gimbal for smartphones. Okay, so it's not just for smartphones. It includes uh, GoPros, the Hero 3, 4, and 5. But it, it says on here it's for smartphones for screens up to six inches. So I have an iPhone 7 Plus that has a screen of 5.5 inches and that's measured diagonally from corner to corner. But the entire width of the phone from corner to corner is really seven inches. So that's where I need to test this out, see if it's gonna work with my phone. I'm not sure. By the way, this is a quick review and it will be a very fast review. And I'm gonna tell you why here at the end. Cue the unboxing footage. Okay, Zion Smooth Q, here it is, with my iPhone 7 Plus mounted to it. It's a pretty nice little setup. I think it struggles with larger cell phones, though, that have cases on them. I don't wanna remove my case every time I have to put it in this thing, because the case I have, it's a little challenging to get on there, and or get on and off of the phone. So I don't wanna have to do that every time I utilize this device. That doesn't take away from the fact that it does produce pretty smooth footage. The gimbal motors seem to work pretty well. Um, in combination with the stabilization inside the smartphone and the gimbal motors, you can get some pretty nice smooth footage. But I guess that's dependent on whether or not you have a case that's easy to remove or not. Um, I know that the case I have isn't that thick, but it still adds weight to the phone, a little bit of weight to the phone. And I have to say, I think the gimbal still struggles with that added weight. I did take the case off, utilized it without the case, and it seemed to, to balance out a little better but it still appears to be struggling with it a, a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can tell from here, but the phone kind of tilts to the left a little bit just because of the weight. You can balance that out by adjusting the, the pitch, access, and roll of, of the gimbal, but still that's, it's a little convenient to have to kind of adjust that every time. I just want to hit the button and go, either vlogging style or get some shots with my cell phone as quick as possible, and that's what I was hoping for but that doesn't seem to be what I'm getting. It's a little more inconvenient to, to have to adjust things. It's difficult to balance out with my size phone. With an iPhone that's smaller, like a seven or an eight, not the plus models, uh, I would venture to say that this probably works really well. You can still have a, a moderately sized case on it and, and fit it into the clamps on the phone or on the, uh, on the gimbal, and it should work pretty well. I, I would think it does. I like the handle on it. It doesn't have any rubberized grip or anything like that. And actually it's pretty smooth, but it feels good in your hand. And the whole unit is pretty light and feels pretty good. I think you, you'd be able to operate with it for quite a while and your arms aren't gonna get tired or anything like that. The controls, they're really nice. They're, real, they're well laid out. Your thumb can access the joystick really easily to adjust. Um, if you use it with the app that you can download, um, you can hook up your camera by Wi-Fi to the device and it's got a record button here where you can control the recording, the stop and, and recording of, of the camera as well as a, a zoom feature that's included. And then you've got, you've got your typical mode buttons where you have where it'll follow your movement or you know up and down movement. I think if you click here, you can see it's just a one click. You can have different modes. Triple clicking, it turns around for selfie mode utilizing the front facing camera. But you really don't need to do that with a cell phone because most cell phones have a front facing camera. You would just switch to that and, and you'd have your selfie mode in place. So overall, it's a nice device. I, I showed you some of the footage here of uh, me kind of walking and vlogging with it. Very smooth footage. But again, like I said, I think it does struggle a little bit with a tilt because of the weight of the phone. It does a little better without the case. But again, I don't want to remove my case. I think I'm going to take it back. Uh, but I think if you have a smaller phone, it's worth a test. It's worth trying out and, and seeing because I think there's a lot of other positives about it. It just doesn't work with my big phone. So, well, that's all I have for you with this quick Saturday morning review of the Zion Smooth Q. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, 
and we'll see you on the next one. For the most part, it just feels like the foam is a little too heavy for, for the gimbal. But it's got all your typical gimbal modes. You hit it three times, it'll pivot around for a selfie mode. Technically, you could just use the front camera.